NATOCAD is able to place raster images like photographs in drawings. These are often called underlays. To do so, go to the Insert tab and then click on Insert Image. To see the types of files supported by NATOCAD, click on the file type list. And you can see popular ones like TIFF, JPEG, and PNG. I'm going to open this aerial photograph and place it in this drawing. So I've selected it, I click open the Insert Raster Image dialog box. That's a little bit like inserting a block or an externally referenced drawing. You have an insertion point, which I will leave at 000. There is a scale, rotation angle, as well as this handy feature called Auto Zoom. That means that after the image is placed in the drawing, NanoCAD will zoom so that the image fits the screen. So I'm going to turn that on, click OK. There's the drawing placed at 000 in the lower left corner, and NanoCAD has zoomed to see the entire drawing. When you try to select an image that's been placed in the drawing, you find that you can't. Instead, notice the thin white border around the edge of the image. That's what you have to click to select the image. Once you've selected it, look in the Properties panel. For example, you can turn off the image, leaving just the white border. This is handy because very large images take a lot of memory and could overwhelm your computer's capabilities. Up here you can change the brightness, contrast, and fade. So let me change the brightness to a dimmer value, 25, or to a lighter value, such as 75. Depending on the image, you may or may not want to change these values. I'll return this back to normal, 50, and then show you the effect of the contrast. Here's low contrast, so it looks a bit more faded. Here is high contrast, which makes it look darker. Let me return that to normal. And then finally the fade value. We'll first enter in 50 and you can see it looks a bit dimmer and then return that back to zero. Sometimes you don't want an entire image, you just want a small part of it. And so NanoCAD can clip the image. This is just like cutting out a piece of paper. So I'm going to start the clip command and it asks me to select it. Remember I have to select it by the border press enter to continue and now I want a new clipping path. There's three ways you can create it. One is to select a polyline, that means you draw a closed polyline over top the image and then select it. Polygonal is the one I'm going to show you and rectangular means it'll do a rectangular clip. So let me choose the polygonal option and then I'm going to zoom into this intersection. And now I'm going to start picking points to indicate where I want the clipping to happen. And one more. Press enter and you can see now the large image is clipped to just the, the interchange. I will select it and then in the properties bar choose no. Now you see the entire drawing again. With the clipping you see this arrow here that reverses the direction of the clipping. So you can have the image clipped to the inside or to the outside. As well, you can use the square grips to change the, the arrangement of the clipping, whether you want it bigger or smaller. The clipping is not permanent. To remove the clipping, start the clip command again. Select the image by its border, press enter, and then choose Delete. The image is returned. To delete the image itself, select the border and press Delete and it's gone from the drawing. Mm -hmm.